In this problem, we're going to integrate e to the t over the square root of 1 plus e to the 2t. So the idea here is that we're going to try to use a formula that looks like this. If you have du over the square root of 1 plus u squared, this is equal to the inverse hyperbolic sine of u plus c. And we're thinking of this formula because we have the square root and this bottom piece here can be rewritten as follows. Watch this. This is e to the t dt over, and then this e to the 2t, you can actually write that as e to the t squared. That's the first thing I noticed. I thought, okay, we have 1 plus something squared here on the bottom. So maybe we can do some manipulation to make what we have in this problem you know, fit um, this formula. That, that's what tells you to use this formula is this piece here because it can be written this way and then your goal is now to use this. So we can simply do this by making a u substitution. We'll let u be equal e to the t, right, because then it'll match the formula. And then taking the derivative, we have du equals e to the t dt. Right, because the derivative of e to the t is just e to the t. And this is perfect, right? This is perfect because this whole top piece now is just our du. So our integral becomes du over the square root of 1 plus u squared. And it matches perfectly. So this is equal to, by the formula, cinch inverse of u plus our constant of integration, capital C. And now the last thing to do is replace u with what it is. This is cinch inverse of e to the t plus our constant of integration, capital C. And that would be the final answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone in the world.